Bears. Stream, baby. And we got a special guest, man. We got we got a special, special guest. We got family in the building. He's a he's a family member of the Beyond the Scores podcast. We got Xavier No Shots Left Kendall, amateur boxer fighting out of Las Vegas, man. I want everybody to give him a round of applause. Yeah, we in the building. We got some technical coaches today, but we're gonna work through it, man. We've been fighting our whole life. So we gotta we gotta we have to make this happen, people. We have to make this happen. Sure. Facts. Definitely been fighting our whole life though. Yeah, yeah. So we wanna um first off, thank you for having having us as a guest in your home. You feel me? You in our home. So it's always gonna be respect. Yeah. But we wanna get to know you first. We wanna know who is Xavier Kendall? Who is Xavier sure. Kendall? So man, Xavier Kendall just the um Loving, caring, nurturing, hard work, motivated, enthusiastic, you know, man, bro, that's trying to survive and uh, do what's right and uh, leave a good legacy behind when I leave this earth. You feel me? Multi talented, you know? Yeah, I, def- I definitely see that, man. When you get in that ring, when you get in that ring, we definitely see that. For sure. You're doing your thing. So we want to know what inspires you to start boxing. How has the sport impacted your life? That's the first because we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. How did this make you better? And how did this? How did you start all this? Basically, how did you? What is? What is your journey on this? All right. So basically, like you know, born in uh, born in Columbus, Ohio. So that's like a, a boxing state. You know, we got some of the greats that came out of that uh, state. Andre, I met mean, uh, Adrian Burner. Buster Douglas, first dude who beat Mike Tyson and knocked him out. Um, Jared Anderson. So I come from like a boxing uh, background. So, you know, growing up, we always had like the big homies in the neighborhood. I always had a gloves. And we are just, he yeah, rack up all the young guys like, yeah, hey, buddy, yeah, whoever uh, want to, you know what I'm saying, um, get in the gloves, da 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 da, line up. And we'll just get in there and start throwing them. And we just like learned off the yeah. strength in the uh, neighborhood and shit like that. So, I started boxing like at 16. I started boxing at 16, me and my cousin. You know, we were just talking about like, man, yeah, let's do this. Da, 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 da. My G mom wouldn't let me though, because she was scared uh about you know the brain injuries and stuff like yeah. that. Too hard. So yeah, you know, so when I was 16, I started it, but I ended up stopping and converting over to basketball because I had like growth spurt and they was like, shoot, you too tall, just come play basketball, focus on boxing later. I should have just stuck with that hole though, because I probably would have been pro already when I turned like 19 or 20 you know yeah so um i don't know boxing pretty much it helped me a lot with you know discipline you feel me uh you know like i i pretty much been a disciplined person but it helped me you know more so be more disciplined you know what i'm saying like self self motivated you know because boxing is a lonely sport sometimes you know yeah so uh it helped me a lot, bro, with just growth and just being focused on the craft and really sticking with it and consistency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm really appreciative for the sport. You know, it, it, it humbles you. It humbles you a lot when you think you, like when you watch it, when you're at home watching boxing and shit like that, you see people, uh, you see the fighters uh, fighting on TV. You're like, man, why you not doing that? Man, I, I, I can whoop him. You get in the ring, mm-hmm. it's a different story. It's a different it's story. story. It's a different story when you get inside that ring. You know, that's the funny thing about it. I hear that a lot, that people really believe that, oh, I do this, I do that. It's not a street fight, people. <laughs> this is called <laughs> This is called boxing. You're fighting in a forced corner square. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a, a whole nother game. It's a whole nother animal. It's all about mathematics, bro. Half circles and angles, like, you know, it's really a science to it. The Mayweathers, the Andre Wards, yeah, that control that ring. Uh, yep, ring generalship, you know, ring yeah. leadership and all. Like, you feel me? Like, boxing is a is a technician sport, but not more so for the heavyweights, because for the heavyweights, everybody just looking to see like a big knockout, knockout. or uh, a hard hitter, and that's why I feel like I differentiate myself from these heavyweights that's that's in the yeah. game right now because I'm more so. I feel like I'm a little man in a big guy body because the stuff mm-hmm. I do is what a little man to do. Like, you know, fast yeah. punches, moving out the way, 
kind of ring out to like you know baiting my fighter and not really mm -hmm. windmilling everything looks structured and sharp you know what i'm saying yeah you know so 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 how long you actually uh been fighting with the camp you fighting with right now how long they've been training you all right so i box out of barry's boxing gym out of las vegas nevada so i've been with them for like a year and um it's, a, it's been a year and five months okay okay so y'all putting that work in putting that work in 16 months shit. hey 16 months man and last time they gave me 16 months i was somewhere else buddy uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey you know you know hey, look, hey, look no more 16 months ever though you know never, ever, ever. Ever, 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 ever. you feel me no more 16 months man yeah yeah, yeah so. we, we enjoying this fresh air you know yeah so so we want to know at beyond the score can you share a memorable experience or a fight like where you knew you could do this like, it ain't gotta be a professional it could be on some street level it could just be when like you know fighting could be my profession i can actually perfect this and become a job for me because everybody can fight but everybody can't get paid for fighting yeah that's a fact um, we, um. <clears throat> A memorable moment when I know, like, all right, I can do this. I uh, I'll probably have to say when uh I think my I want to say like my fifth, my fifth or sixth month, or maybe my fourth. I, I'm not for sure, but uh that's when I sparred my first uh professional uh fighter or whatever mm -hmm. you know. Um and uh we was in the ring and we was uh, getting some good work in man you feel me um i think the first time i spot him he stopped me with a body shot or whatever but i was keeping him back with the jab the jab yeah and everybody was like <clears throat> he even told me when we got done he was like yeah you got a mean jab on you man it's fast mm -hmm. accurate you know keep that shit up because you can win the whole fight with that and so we sparred again i think uh two months down the line and i started adding more uh to my arsenal or whatever so I ain't gonna lie, he hit me, right? You know, he's a Samoan cat. It's my boy, Big Pat. You know, I spar him all the time. He's professional or whatever. Uh, he fought on top rank. Yeah, he hit me in my, he hit me with something. Like, I think it was either like a left or a right hook. He hit me at the top of my head. And when he did that, my legs went numb. You feel me? Like, mind you, he, he 300 plus. I'm, at that time, like 240 something, you know? So, yeah, he hit me at the top of my head with something crucial. It was like, boom. And I was like, ah. Oh. My legs went numb, just like that. Like my legs went under me, and then yeah. he like, "You good, bro? You good?" I'm like, "Yeah, come on, let's let's keep it going." And so uh, we start doing some light shit, and then we 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 uh, you know, we made it more hectic again. We picked it back up. Mm -hmm. So then that's when I was like, "All right, fuck that. I gotta get my get back." So I, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you gotta give it to take it. You gotta give yeah. it to take it. You got it, you know, and that's when I knew right then and there. I was like, oh yeah, I could do this shit. I know I got it for sure, for sure. You know, because a lot of people they'll get hit with something. They're like, oh yeah, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to, you know, yeah. I ain't coming back tomorrow. And then I was getting glory. People was praising me and shit like that. It was like, you know, how long you been doing this? Da da da. da. At that time, I was telling like shit. It only been like six, seven, uh, eight months. I was like, yeah, bro, you keep that shit up. You, 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 some boy, you got yeah. something for sure. So I just hear that from everybody. And everybody <laughs> say the same thing when they see me spar. They be like, you really got skill. Um, you a different heavyweight. You like a light middle or a middleweight. So that's when I knew. Uh, yeah, that's like when I knew. Like, like the Andre Wards, you right yeah. there. You in the middle. You could do any. You could come this way. You could go this way. Yeah, it's, them, it's the dangerous, not them the most dangerous fighters though. The War Joneses that can go up, but they can come down. They it's like yeah, you gotta watch them because they can win at multiple highest levels. That's when you got the 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 prestige of it. You going yeah. knock it down the best of the best. Exactly, like different <laughs> different different fighting styles, like yeah. not, not just one style. Yeah, and being able to bump up or go down to yeah. different divisions you know what yeah I'm that's saying? that's that's elite that's elite exactly so you know quick story quick story when you said that i got hit on top of my head one time i was fighting <laughs> and my whole body went numb. i know what that feel like like you and it was like some more cat damn near like a polynesian california yeah, okay. yeah, uh, so yeah 
So you know that you relate, you can relate. Yeah, to it. them niggas is like naturally God given. Naturally, them. just big and they who they Ooh. bones like everything. <laughs> it, everything yeah. they hit for is is powerful. You feel? Yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah, I know about them. I know about them Samoan Polynesians. Yeah, that was my first time ever sparring a, prof, a professional heavyweight, a professional in general, and being yeah. a Samoan at that, that was my first time. But if I, if I, I felt like sure, if I can hang with him, I can hang with anybody in the division. And so like, I can yeah. hang with anybody. You know? So while we already into that sparring, so we're gonna get right to training. Training and what's your training regime like? And how do you stay motivated through your grilling training session? Because we know boxing training is different. Mm -hmm. Boxing training is a whole nother type. See, basketball, I play basketball. I can get in shape during the season. I can I get myself in shape. Let me get out there and get the boogie in there. I can get myself in shape. Hit it with the one, two, the in yeah. and out. A little rally football, football is another thing. We probably want to be in top shape. But footballs are more like the linemen. They ain't in the best shape. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, they're mm -hmm. just big guys. So boxing is one of the purest sports where when it's time to get in that ring, like Mike, remember when Mike was playing around? You could play around and be the best, but if this guy trains more than you, he wins. Right, exactly. And it's that's about that, it's about that four to eight week. How much time what's the longest you've been in the training session? Uh you talking about in a day? Yeah, yeah, like in the day, like what's the longest you train? Probably like um probably like eight hours, you know what I'm saying? Four, oh, see, four. you putting the work in, you putting that work in. Yeah, four in the four in the four in the morning and then came back. Uh I mean I'm my fault, I apologize. Uh four hours in the morning uh a session and then another four hours at the night session. Okay, yeah. So you two you doing two a days. This is two a day. That's, that's yeah, two a day. Yep, yep, two days. Mm -hmm. So, so what's your training regime like, and how do you stay motivated during the training session? So, basically, I go into the gym. I uh, start off with like uh, probably do five rounds of shadow boxing. Then after that, uh, I'm I you I would normally do the jump rope, but the jump rope so short. I it, every time I try to do it, it clip my head because I'm I'm a tall nigga. You feel me? Yeah. Six six. So. Uh, I just skip the jump rope. So I bet I'll do five rounds of shadow boxing. Then I'll go straight to the bag. I hit the heavy bag. Then I'll go and do the inside bag. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll go and do the uh, in and out bag. And then I'll do the speed bag. So basically on the heavy bag, I'll probably, you know, it depends. I'll, I'll go either, I'll do like five to 12 rounds on the bag. You know what I'm saying? So that's three, that's three, three minute, um, that's that's three minute rounds on the bag. You know, so I'll do twelve rounds. You feel me on the heavy bag. Then I'll go to the inside bag. I may just do like eight. And then the in and out bag, I'll probably just do like five rounds. And the speed bag, I'll probably just do three rounds. And then after that, me and my coach, we up in and we go on. I had a call coming through. But yeah, um yeah, me and my coach would do mid work <laughs> and how I stay motivated. All I just think about